I was literally, I was not going to come back here. And I'm just like, literally, I was like, no, I'm not going, I'm done. I already trained earlier, I'm not going back. The goal was screaming at me. The goal was like, wait, what are you doing? That might be the title of this video, I don't know. The goal was screaming at me. But I was like, all right, I guess I'm gonna get up. So we're here, so this is workout number two. Uh, we're gonna do chest again and get it going. Yeah, we're here, let's warm it up. There was a reason I was so committed to not coming back here. And it wasn't about being tired. It wasn't about any of that. There was something. So I was just like, okay, nope, let me get up. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. Sometimes you gotta, that discomfort, sometimes you gotta get the test, guys. Sometimes you gotta get the test and you gotta see, all right, do I fold or do, or do I do what I need to do, even if I don't wanna do it? Say that three times fast. See how it feels? I don't know. Just shock up a little bit. I just know we gotta work. More work needs to be done. Gotta get more uncomfortable. It's, it's just never enough. I don't know. Very quick. Oh. And not even just in here, right? It's not even just specific to the gym. It's just, man, I can't allow the comfort to take over. And comfort comes in all shapes and sizes too. So it's like, you have to start to be aware of it and see it and understand it and, and start to realize what it is, this comfort. Trip. We're here now. No turning back. Let's get this up. I'm out of my mind. Nah, I just, I just want it. You know, as antisocial as I can be at the gym, a lot of my contacts and a lot of network opportunities happen in the gym. So it's always so weird finding the balance of, I'm in the zone, but I can be approachable too, right? I know that sounds, it's like you shouldn't even have to be thinking about that, but it's like, I realize it's a weakness of mine. It's something I could definitely work on. So, so I was definitely like more adamant about, okay, let me be open to talk. Let me be open to, you know, having a conversation. It doesn't have to be a long drawn out conversation, but a conversation. weird irony, irony in the gym as well, right? It's the way I train. For the one end, I'm super, I'm definitely unapproachable. I could definitely admit I could be 100% unapproachable. But the same, with saying that, it's also blocked a lot of blessings because when I have been, you know, more open to at least have a conversation, a lot of contacts and a lot of networking opportunities I got, was in the gym. And I talk about that, like, networking is key, relationships is key, especially in the businesses that I'm in. 
it's necessary. So I always have to be mindful of being approachable or me approaching somebody. And the gym, fitness, it's gotten me a lot of connections. It's gotten me indoors. It's given me the opportunity to meet people that I probably would not have met in just regular day-to-day -day situations. So that's why I put a lot of emphasis on fitness. It's not just for, you know, the obvious, oh, let's get in shape. There's so many other things that come with it, right? And I'm a living testament of that. So that's why I stress it, it's mandatory. You gotta get it in. Someone asked me, how do I stay motivated? How do I stay inspired? I was like, yo, my goal that I have in my head is so huge. What I'm trying to attain is so big that I haven't even started. Where I'm at isn't even registering on the radar. That's what keeps me so motivated. I have a serious goal, you know, outside of the gym, you know, this overall life, you know, that I'm trying to get to. So when that goal is so big and that goal is so huge like that, you're able to just keep grinding, keep going. When it hurts, when it sucks, when you're tired, when you're this, when it's, when it's that, just keep going. You have to make that goal. What's your goal? And don't feel that you have to settle. Make the goal huge. Don't think you ever have to settle. That is a wrap, guys. We're gonna probably finish up, up on dips and get out of here. Two days complete. I'm glad I got up and made it happen. And we do it all over again tomorrow. I don't rest too much in it. It's like, yeah, it's great. I made it, we put in the work, but tomorrow's another day. And the next day, and the next day. I don't rest too much in the accomplishment or like pat myself on the bat too much, right? I, don't, I really don't do that because I feel if you do that too, too much, you kind of let your foot off the gas and you just, lose that sense of of drive you know kind of that underdog mentality is something that i keep always you know that's what keeps me just driving just a little bit more studying just a little bit more practicing just a little bit more and we're saying that i don't rest in and allow my mind to get too caught up in the setbacks and the losses right when things happen you know you know trust me you know I'll, i know about the setbacks i don't rest in it for very long it's like i used to but now it's like I take the lesson and we keep it moving. Same thing with the wins. Okay, it's great, proof of concept. We're on the right track, but we gotta keep it going. So guys, I'm out of here. We got more on the way. I appreciate you. Let's go.